Hello and welcome. I am Ferris Bakai and this is the Lone Soul Project. I preconceived that blindness is a requ necessary requirement for creativity. Within these photos I have I show that a single soul, a lone individual, the lone soul. The lone soul is meant to represent me and my journey alone through this world. I feel that this shows that a lot of the time loneliness could be either positive or negative. And well, through my own studies I've learned that creativity is really p more powerful for the loners and it helps them to understand about who they are as a person and the, the amount of creati creative that one can be and within my art studies I've learned that a lot of artists maybe in the Renaissance and the well, in a lot of older dates is that a lot of artists were lonely like Van Gogh's depression and so many others. I learned from my depression that I could use my emotions to be creative and that a lot of photos can be so powerfully emotionally just by the stories that we have written with them. Most of the time it may be seem hard to read but I feel like maybe, maybe the only open-minded people can really actually really content, could actually understand these stories that I've written. And well, I sounds weird to begin with, but the possibilities determine it all. Breaking the barrier of it all, I went to li relive my my depression. And well, it created something that I never thought I'd create. My most valuable photo, my the one that I always look back to understand it to learn myself. Loneliness determined it all for me. My creativity is powerful. I, well, I mean, these photos seem to show a different story and to un to kind of break away from the day-to-day -day normals. I always, it's time that I decide to not be normal. The non-normal people are probably the people that are more stronger. And just by re-looking at the histories and all the artists that have came to be, they're all just magical. And well, I try to understand my own mortality, my purpose, and well, I feel like maybe it's time to really challenge the mind and create something that is rather unique and not known to the world. With my photography, my lonely soul, lone soul project, I create this world where I am the only world, the only one. I am alone. And Therefore, at the moment, I learn who I am more when I'm alone. I understand myself more. My pain, the struggle, I've learnt. It all is just to build something rather unique. Like I'm creating my own world. The world where I can only understand myself. It's the clarity of what all. The ex it's just an extension of my own vision like a world that I only can comprehend it's weird to think about but the mind of creativity creativity of the worlds within no one can really understand no one can really understand themselves one another there's so much more the power to be creative is just simply hum human human strength and no AI can take what we have I've lived with several creative thoughts 
these thoughts are distinguished to myself alone. And the Lone Soul Project kind of tells me that I am more to what I normally can think. The possibility of one is just staggering. This world is made up of 8 billion stories. And those stories are people. Those stories become worlds. Worlds become galaxies. Galaxies, galaxies become universes. In a way, you created that world, that galaxy, that universe. That's in my, that's part of my own mindset. Is that you're unique and you should always cherish your uniqueness. And always challenge yourself to be a better version of yourself that you are today. And by doing something that we have passion for, it is our purpose. The possibilities are mind breaking, really. Break the barrier, really. And only you can do that. And my Lone Soul Project tells me that I. I should be who I am. The creativity of my mind is just, I can't even comprehend it sometimes myself. But to me, photography is the pen. Your pen's the camera. And the characters and the stories become a book. You create the world as it creates more. You, yourself, a lot more powerful than you think. And I think that every time. I still just don't understand. Maybe this is more. I wanna I'm gonna keep digging deep into my brain, keep thinking, keep with this idea that my loneliness and my creative bend blend and it helps me helps me become who I am. Create my strength. But at what cost? My mentality? Am I really gonna go down like the most other artists? Because a lot of them, the mentality back in the olden days, they weren't, they didn't have the help. I mean, it's good to grab help these days, but maybe we don't need that anymore. We do it ourselves. Challenge our minds, become structured, then become more structured people. To be more powerful and think to yourself. A lot of the time, the mental training can be the groundbreak for the world of creativity. The mind could be changed to simply be powerful. But in case of measure shows a structure, when there's a structure, advancements, which means creative activity, we can be stronger creatively. And only we have the power to do this, though. Thanks for listening. Have a good one.